Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Late Night News here on High Media TV. I'm your host at High Media TV, and our top story of the day is an update on things going on in Asheville, North Carolina, and the Hurricane Helen uh, issues that they've been dealing with. But first, our headlines for today. Russian fighter jet flies within feet of US F-16 near Alaska. Hurricane Helene, death toll rises to 166 with hundreds more still missing. VP, VP hopeful J.D. Vance hopes says that the GOP has to earn America's truck bass off back on abortion. Trump makes a dig at Jimmy Carter on his 100th birthday. Donald Trump's GoFundMe for victims of Hurricane Helen raises more than $2 million. And on to our main story of the day. Long lines of grocery stores and gas stations and water distribution centers have become the new normal for those living with Hurricane Helen's destruction. The residents deal with long lines for vital supplies at, in Asheville after the storm. Outside the Mellow Mushroom, where there was a long line on Tuesday wing for something that's been hard to come by, pizza. Here, a man who owns the popular pizzeria on Broadway Street says he has given out $5,000 worth of pizza to his fellow storm survivors. Four days after Hurricane Helen ravaged his community, there are lines for groceries, gas, and lines to get into shelters and lines at charging seasons to use up cell phones. The man said, this is for them, knowing that they've been, been through. I mean, we're going to do this for as long as we can because these people, so many of them, have seen things that you and I should never wish to see in our lives ever, and they'll carry that here to the end, so that's why we do this. Helen has killed now more than 166 people. Remember, uh, death toll has been updated. Throughout the southeast, as it there made landfall in Florida, in Bucone County, which includes Asheville, at least 57 people were killed. And after what so many of them have been through, residents say they were grateful for Marone's generosity. Alice Goodman and Sheen Morrison, who live in Asheville's Hillcrest neighborhood, said they waited about an hour for pizza, but it was worth it. They were downtown looking for food in a car with three girls when it stopped and gave us a couple of knickknacks and pointed us in the direction. He said what the Mellow Mushroom is doing for the city is phenomenal. So to be able to chow down on hot pizza gives them a sense of normalcy and hope. Another resident, Janesha Williams, said she was hanging out in the YMC downtown trying to gain access to the Wi-Fi when she pizza was to be had. Ultimately, you know, when dealing with overwhelming tragedy and you know loss community is very much the one thing that you need to survive i'm a perfectly good example right that i'm currently homeless and i'm staying with a friend and you know if i didn't you know be make friends and you know keep those connections with people i would be on the street right now or dead probably so as people continue to reel from Helen and you can take, you know, my words with a grain of salt, call your friends, call your family, fill those connections, and tell people you love them. Because ultimately, we live in a country where there is not going to be a, a strong social safety net to catch you if you fall, and the only thing that you will have is the generosity of others. You and if and if you're not in a, a, a precarious situation, you are the village. You know, if your neighbor has like just had a kid and is like two weeks postpartum, get your ass in the kitchen and make them, you know, a tray of macaroni so they can eat without having to cook. You know, it takes a village. Remember, you are the village. As much as I would love our tax dollars to do more to help us individually and communally, you know, at least for the short term, mutual aid and community, you know, you know, outreach is really all we have at the moment. So hop to it, folks. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my mental health. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.